Like I say, they actually tried to cover up White Star Lines. They actually tried to cover up White Star, well, White Star Lines. They, they use it as like uh, lines, you know. They went out there to the world and tried to say, oh, blah, 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 lines. Like lines in a book, like, like, like lines that people read off. Lucifer White Star or Lucifer Star or Star Manufacturing was a real company, is a real company. They tried to reprint all of my old stuff, recast all of my old stuff with their names or with names or something, which is fine, really. I don't mind the, I don't mind the, the, the inventors being glorified. That's fine, but um, but they tried to do a lot of stuff and would and it would eventually end, or the whole purpose was for it to end in my death, or them killing me eventually. There's a problem with that because I am a hundred trillion years old and creator of eight hundred galaxies, including the human race. So, and apparently Rodney and other people thought that they could just do whatever they wanted and, in fact, even punish the people that helped me. My people that, that, that helped me and were part of me. But, that, but that's like punishing yourself. Like, punishing the people that helped me is like hitting yourself. Like, I mean, because I'm the creator of humanity, you can't really punish the people that helped me because you'd just be punishing yourself. Because I created humanity and blah, further to humanity and blah, blah. So you'd just be punishing your... It's like going and shooting your, your dad. It doesn't really work. Um, because those are the people that helped me. So, like, JFK and Rodney and stuff were going to go after basically anybody who ever helped me. Anybody who ever helped Brian or helped Lucifer. But there's a problem with that because I'm the creator of humanity and 800 other galaxies. It's like just going back and shooting your dad or just shooting your dad because like everyone helped me. Like I am the creator of the human race. So they couldn't really do that. Anyway, it was, <laughs> you know, it's one of those plants, you know, anyway. So because that's what that's how 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 Nixon and JFK and everybody else was going to win is they were just going to help just going to kill anybody that, 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 that was bringing back. Uh, Lucifer, or Lucifer Star. Anybody who ever helped Lucifer, you know. So, and JFK and uh, Jimmy Carter was doing the whole cast out Lucifer, the Defiler, the blah blah blah. And he was just, you know, they, and he had access to, to to a public access TV station, basically. Like I say, if you go back, you can find a little blue, a little green car, I believe, or a green truck. And there was this public access, I think it was somewhere in like New Orleans or someplace like that. I don't know. And he drove, he drove around, he stole it, he raped the girl, I think, or something like that, or would go in and try and have sex with the girl all the time. It was basically Jimmy Carter's dad or something like that. I don't know, somebody. Anyway, it was back in the 1920s or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, and, um, and he was blasting all this cast out Lucifer. It's the beginning of religion, actually. Anyway, so... He became a problem. He was a problem. And basically, you know, pretty much they just shot their way into the White House and then said, we're here. Ah, we sw I swear, you know, and blah, 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 and all this and that. Anyway, basically, and pretty much, like I say, JFK ends up being like, uh, I don't know, coach. <laughs> JFK was like, was, like, was like, I don't know. What do you think, coach? <laughs> He's coaching the witness. <laughs> no, I'm torturing the witness. You know, I tortured the shit out of him. I tortured, uh, I tortured like at least five or fifteen. I tortured thirty JFK clones and a couple other people, and basically tortured them on and off. You know, until basically over a thousand years, over a hundred years, they were tortured to insanity and back again several different times until basically they didn't remember anything about themselves. Pretty much, and this happened actually. Uh, one of my exoskeletons was was watching was 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 doing it. My my other one of my other teams was doing it, and basically the American government has been trying to find them. Pretty much, been trying to find JFK and Nixon and all the others. They've, they've been trying to find these people because they know that they've done these things. So and they know what they've done. So they just wanted to find they wanted to stop find out where they would be or what what happened to the, to themselves and it's like well you're not really going to find that that is possibly in another dimension and far away from here where we where I where I tortured every little bit of information out of them you know once i found them and then i found out exactly who and everything about them 
There were probably about, you know, maybe 250 million people, basically. I don't know. I don't really torture. Usually I just ask. And um, anyway, though, but yeah, like I said, one of the other life forms, one of the life forms that, 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 that I had created a long, long time ago that no one had ever known about. Like I said, they would ha you'd have to be about 60 trillion years old to know what was, what was going to handle what. And basically, not even I really knew. Um, you know, they would just do it. And pretty much, you know, it's kind of like cause and, cause and effect or reaction. You know, it's like one of those things. Anyway, basically, the American government, a couple of humans, uh, basically are, are really fucking scared and are looking, you know, they thought that they could have sex, rape whoever they wanted, do whatever they wanted, and they couldn't. And they found this out the hard way. They thought they could laugh at me all they wanted. And this and that, and basically every single one of them upon time of death found themselves in another races, another life form's good great not so good graces. Anyway, they would laugh at me and blah 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 and do this and do that, not knowing what they were actually doing and what was actually gonna happen to them. Anyway, um nobody denies me, nobody messes with me, and pretty much, you know, that's just the way it was. So Anyway, uh, JFK and Jimmy Carter and a bunch of other people, the popes and everything, set up this whole thing where basically certain people would be doing, you know, whatever. A perversion of, 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 of free will, basically. And pretty much they knew that, that, that certain things were, were going to happen to them. And they thought they could get out of it. And they found out that they couldn't. Anyway, that bad things were, were going to happen to them anyway. So... Anyway, um, and like I say, even even heightened intelligence, other life forms that, that, that come into existence like between the last 300 trillion years old wouldn't know about what I did 100 trillion years ago. I did quite a bit of stuff back then. And you would have to be that old or older to know what was going on. And um, basically, pretty much upon the point of time when they took me or whatever else like that, my safeties or, or my, I had some other things going on basically just in case something really bad ever happened to me. And basically it happened and <laughs> so anyway, and like I say, Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon and a bunch of, and a bunch of other people and their children think that nothing happened. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And some other people think, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. God doesn't really exist, or or or, or Lucifer is no one. You can laugh at Lucifer. It's like, uh, no, not really. Anyway, I don't really care because, like I say, I've already lived through here. I already had to deal with it. I already dealt with some things. I already put down, basically, the Crystal Cathedral, God's Golden Army. <laughs> the Crystal Cathedral got put down. God's Golden Army got put down. Um, I don't know. Name a few different di di different things that they had going on in the background. I had to put down quite a few different groups. Like, no, you're not going to do that. <laughs> um, like I said, I really did have real armies out there. We did space war. <laughs> we actually did time epic time space war. Like uh, like people that didn't understand that the time. A couple different people thought that they were the only ones with time travel, and they didn't realize that I had twelve or nine races or they thought it was just a dream or just something I was saying and they found out that well actually my 12 races actually do have time travel and actually did have a problem and dealt with it and then millions of years later whatever blah blah um so anyway uh and I have other races as well that's uh, like I said I have four or two at least that no one has seen in a hundred or 90 trillion years there are two races out there that no one knew about that no one had ever seen in 90 trillion years. And people thought that they were dead races. And they're not. No. Not at all. They, they are quite hard to kill, actually. I'm pretty sure. And basically just don't care about anything. Basically, they, they just safeguard my, my survival and my future. And that's all they do. Pretty much. And basically take care of anything that gets in my way. Anyway, I think that's what it was. I don't know. There was a couple things. Anyway, uh, Jimmy Carter, like I said, they, they uh, I'll get picked up with this. 